wonder how can we help bring peace to Ukraine around the world when it's so far away? What could we possibly do? Sandy Austin here up in the attic. More tapping for Ukraine. The madness on the internet just gets madder. Literally, we have people uploading video upon video of them tapping their heads because apparently that's going to end the war in Ukraine. Okay, over to the video. Jen? Oh, oh. So I'm just tuning into the energy of the people in Ukraine and <laughs> in energy, I can be right there with them in their, you know, <laughs> in their discouragement. <laughs> so they are getting really tired and they feel discouraged. So when we do this energy work for them, they will, they will sense it as like inspiration. Now tell me this is not mental illness. One of the problems we have in our modern society now is that no one is allowed to basically be critical of other people's beliefs and behaviors. Anything now to do with identity and deviation from what would be considered the norm is somehow an attack on the progressive politics. It is a neoconservative patriarchal position. And that now, if you wish to identify however you wish to identify, we must celebrate that and endorse it. And anyone who says nay is to be basically have their lives ruined on the internet. Essentially, what we are doing is celebrating mental illness, facilitating people to be unwell. We now, some of these people are getting paid for it. Some people get positions of power from it. Now, let's just see how this plays out on the world stage. 20, 30 years from now, when young people growing up, instead of being given treatment, being given a baseline of what is normal and sensible, now are suitably encouraged by adults. Look at the average age of people on this video. These aren't kids. These are adults who are supporting and endorsing, endorsing this insanity. Or they'll sense it like they were you know, feeling like their angels were with them and stuff. So that will be us being their angels tonight. <laughs> okay, they're, they're getting... I haven't edited that um, or put a loop on that. That is real. Now, essentially, one of the things that's happened in the therapeutic religion... Therapy and personal development has gone from an independent development of self into essentially what is becoming organized religion. I don't think these people think of it as religion, but it very, very clearly is. And of course, we must always respect people's religious beliefs. Really? I, I have to question that myself as to whether we should actually have to do that. And I know the law actually does seem to support that position. But essentially, there was a point when people prayed to God, people prayed to angels. There was the attitude of supplication and submission to higher power of the divine. What has happened now within the personal development religion is that people are now narcissistic enough, they are the divine. Here we have a group of dimwits who are going to tap their head and make some quite strange noises, um, who are now acting as angels for the people of Ukraine. One only needs to see the videos of what is happening in the Ukraine, um, and you may not want to, the stuff they don't show you on the TV, to see the extent of the severity of what's really going on. I'm not entirely sure these people are going to help. The sensation of the world is... Um, the world is like the insanity of it. Their whole world is crumbling around them, even under their feet. So, <laughs> now, the other thing I have to question there's what, two, how many have got? Two, four, five, 19 other people on this call. They were hoping for 100, and surprisingly, they didn't get 100. I don't understand how they didn't get 100 people. What are these people actually thinking? Are they actually thinking that this person who is a self-appointed psychic medium and all the rest channeler and tapper, that actually she has deep insight into the subspace field of the universe, into whatever it is that she believes she's, pardon the pun, tapping into? 
they all seem to be quite compliant. Um, I'm going to skip it forward in a moment to actually get to the, the highlights of what this group actually is doing. <laughs> how we view the world is how we manifest the world. So immediately stop the invasion of Ukraine in all moments. We immediately stop the invasion of Ukraine in all moments. We immediately stop the invasion of Ukraine in all moments. All of humanity snuffs out all power mongers in all moments. All of humanity snuffs out all power mongers in all moments. All of <laughs> humanity snuffs out all power mongers in all moments. All of humanity snuffs out all power mongers. This is a cult. This is a religion. There is not much difference in structuring here. Okay, the content is dramatically different. There's not much different in structure here between a religious ceremony of some description, the healing meditations that people do, the pre thoughts and prayers, hope and prayers, and all the rest of it for whatever it is that people do. Not a great deal of difference in the structuring of the delivery. The main difference is these people position themselves as gods. They are the divine. They have adopted a narcissistic position where they are, they are the intervention. They're not calling for intervention from a higher force. They are the higher force. These are, the, these are mental health workers. These are people who are therapists and coaches and personal development gurus. These people position themselves. They're the savior of mankind. Can you imagine having a genuine mental health problem and you've been recommended tapping? Tapping, I mean, that alone is, is bad enough. And you end up getting these people. In all moments. All of humanity snuffs out all power mongers in all moments. All of humanity snuffs out all power mongers in all moments. Even though Ukraine is so far away, I can help by developing more inner peace. 